Hey everyone, it's Zia. Welcome back to my channel. I just took my hair down out of like a horrible, horrible bun. <laughs> it looked bad, but I have to put it back up anyway. So that was silly. Anyway, while I put my hair up, I will tell you guys what we're doing today. So I decided I would do a little get ready with me. I'm planning on doing like a halo eye. I haven't done one in so long. So I think I'm going to do that using a few ColourPop eyeshadows. They're normal ones that come in the pot. I really love those. I'm going to do my, whatchamacall, primer. And I'm going to use this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is like just a tiny little sample version. I'm going to apply that. Oh, I've done before. There it goes. One day I have to actually like show you guys how I have my setup here. It's really basic. <laughs> There's nothing really special going on. I just have like this little fold out table that I put a fuckload of makeup on. And then I have some makeup laying on my bed, which I probably should put like a t-shirt or something under it so it doesn't mess up my white comforter. Now I'm going to go on to my foundation and I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Love this stuff so much. I've been using it all the time. I used to use the Maybelline Fit Me foundation like every single day and after I started using this I realized that my other foundation was kind of orange and like didn't match. I don't know what the hell is going on with me. This matches a little closer. I don't know I have a really hard time matching my foundation because I'm like really yellow around my chest area and my face isn't and then my hands are different too like I have like six different colors going on on my body at all times I have my little not really a beauty blender right here I love this thing I will link these sponges down below I think I got a box of four for $20 and considering that the beauty blenders usually sell for like $20 each it's a steal and I've been using this one for a while now and I wash these every single time I use them. Like if I don't wash it right after, I'll wash it right before I do my makeup because germs and bacteria and such. I'm going to add a little bit more because my skin is having a rough time. Like it's been breaking out a lot more lately even though I've been really careful. The facial exfoliator I've been using is from Dirty Works and it's just not good. Now I'm going to move on to concealer and I'm going to be using my all-time favorite Maybelline Instant Age Rewind concealer. Love this stuff. It's the dark circle eraser. I have this in the light, in, in the light shade fair. In the fair. In the fair. Oh, I can't talk. I, I have this in the shade fair. It's so silly because I always want to get both sides as even as possible. And then I realize it's not necessary because it's just going to get blended out anyway. I'm holding a mirror and I'm looking up away from my mirror. Good job, Zia. Now that I finished that part, I'm going to use the same Maybelline Instant Age, Re Instant Age Rewind Concealer, but I'm going to use it in the brightening shade and I literally just pop this in like the center areas of my face. So just like about right here, tip of my nose, and right here, see? Since I have a very, ooh, don't fall on me. Since I have like a very large face, this kind of helps bring more attention here and makes it so that my face doesn't look as round and uh, large. You see what I mean? So now I'm going to set my face and bake under my eyes using my Airspun Loose Face Powder. This is the extra coverage version and love this stuff. Been using it forever. Apparently a lot of people use this now. I went to like three different Walgreens to try to find this because it was all sold out everywhere. And I don't know, like everybody's using this now. And I always bake my nose. <laughs> uh, I know that sounds weird, but I always do it. Just in case, for those of y'all who haven't seen my videos before, I always bake my nose because my nose is like really, really oily. I know, gross, I'm sorry. Like before I knew that I have to like exfoliate my skin, I used to have like the most horrible skin on my nose and I could never put anything on it because all this horrible dry crackly skin would get caught on my nose and it would catch anything that I put on whether it was lotion it looked terrible but now it doesn't because I exfoliate and I understand how to take care of my skin before I did not I also thought body lotion was okay to use on your face that was not don't use body lotion on your face so now I'm going to set the rest of my face using this little fluffing brush, fluffing, fluffy brush right here. Also, if this is the first time you've been here, I suck at talking. 
English is my first language. And even though it's my first language, I still fuck up the words. I have all the eyeshadows that I'm planning on using right here. They're all from ColourPop. Hello. Ooh. Hello. First thing I'm going to do is take the color Jinxie. Love this guy right here. So pretty. I'm going to apply that straight onto my eyelid and literally all the way up to the brow bone. I'm just covering everything in this. Okay, my camera was overheating, so I had to turn it off, so I figured I'd go ahead and do my eyebrows. Basically the same every day. Just went over it with my Brow Stylist Definer Pencil from L'Oreal in the color Dark Brunette. And then I went over that with my Eyebrow Cake Powder from NYX. This is in the color Dark Brown. And I decided to go on and do this eye. What do you think? A little too strong? I don't know. We'll fix it. So let's just go on with the next eye. So first I'm going to start off with this color by ColourPop. This is the color Elixir. You do have to have a light hand though. It gets out of hand really quickly, like it did for me today. So I'm just dusting this, more blending this. Can't really dust this because it's more of a cream thing. But I'm blending this in my crease. And I should have stopped like right here, but I didn't. I kept going because I have no self-control. Now I'm going to go on to the next color that I'm using, which is this color right here. This is Seeker. And I'm just going to apply it to the outer corners and the inner corners. These eyeshadows have so much power. Like they are so good. So I applied it to both sides and now I'm just going to sweep it across my crease. <laughs> See, this is the way I would have liked it to be. This got out of hand. So we're going to fix that in a few minutes. And now I'm going to take the color Lala. This is where it really got out of hand because I applied this to the center and then I was like, oh, I should take it on the brow bone. And then everything just kind of got too strong. So I'm just applying this in here. You see? And then I was like, oh, let's, let's take it on the brow bone. And then I did this and that is how this came to be. I decided to just show you guys the mistakes that I made because this is just this is too much. And I'm also going to show you how I fix it. This is a nice like educational moment, right? So what I'm going to do is take a small application brush. I'm going to take my concealer that I used earlier. Just going to take my little application brush and pat it inside the concealer. And I'm going to conceal everything that I did up here. And try not to drag, but just pat anywhere that you feel got too heavy. And I'm just going to take my beauty sponge, pinch it so that you use a smaller surface, and just pat. And you see, all that color is gone. I'm going to take this beige shade right here from my Lorac Pro Contour Palette. And I'm just going to set that concealer in place. So now, I'm just going to start buffing. The color that I already have on my crease and I'm just going to buff it upwards just a little bit because I don't want to overdo it all over again. Much better, right? 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 I have a clean bl blending brush and I'm just going to use that to diffuse anything that's getting too high. Now I'm going to dust away all of this and I'm going to take the color Seeker again. I'm going to add this to my lower lash line and now I'm going to take the color Lala which is the same color I put on the inner portion of my eye and I'm going to apply it in the center of my lower lash line. Now that that's done, I'm going to take my Tarte blush palette right here, open please. I'm going to take the color Crafty just on my finger. I'm going to apply it right over the center of my lid because that's what I did on this side. I forgot to do it on this side. <laughs> and later, I'm going to apply some on the brow bone, but I'm going to finish working on my eyes first. So next, we're gonna do some liner. This is the Wet n Wild Eye Pencil in the color You're the Yin. It's so soft that it doesn't hurt at all to tight line or anything. Now I'm going to create a little wing using my favorite eyeliner ever. This is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum. I don't have the steadiest of hands, so I can't just draw a perfect line. So 
I make tiny lines and I lay the brush tip right against my eyelid and it just creates its own line. And then when I'm creating my wing, I draw the line extending where I want it to and then connect it to the rest of my liner. Oh my god, I think I actually got it close to being symmetrical for once. Now I'm going to go back to the highlighter color from this blush palette. <laughs> and I'm going to add this to my inner corners. And I'm also going to apply this to my brow bone. Now I'm going to apply some mascara and apply my falsies. And I will be right back because I'm going to do that off camera because that takes, takes forever. Okay, it just takes the longest time. Okay, thought my camera was filming. It is not. Don't know what the hell has happened. And my camera is acting all kind of weird. I don't know what I'm doing. Using my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. It smells like coconut. It's so good. And I really like the shade of it too. It's not like too... Too dark. And ooh! Almost dropped it. I already added some here. So you can see it just has like a really subtle glow. And I really like that. Especially since my eyes are really out there today, uh, I'm going to keep everything else a bit more subtle. I am constantly looking at the screen on my camera because I don't have a mirror like in front of me. I'm literally facing my window. So yeah, when I'm not holding a mirror, I'm looking at this. So I hope that doesn't bother you guys too much. So now I'm going to take the deep contour shade from my Block Pro Contour Palette and I'm just going to add this. I'm just going to dust this along the jawline just to uh, make it look like I have a more defined jawline and less of a double chin. And just blend it. Keep on blending. Just keep blending. I'm going to take my little sponge that I used for my setting powder earlier and I'm just going to take the beige contour shade from my Lorac Pro Contour Palette just going to cut underneath just the slightest bit just to make it look a little sharper so now that I have that done I'm going to move on to blush here's my blush brush and I think I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Color Icon blush in the color Mellow Wine I use this all the time I love it so much it's like my favorite blush of all time do you see this? Do you see this color? And it's super pigmented, so you really don't need a lot. Like, I've been using this all year, and it is still full. I have not hit pan yet. Just need the smallest amount, and it gives a really pretty color. And I go overboard with my blush, too. And I always go up at an angle, so like, I'll start down here, and then I'll go up to the top of my ear. You see? Starting down here, up to the top of my ear. Now I'm going to move on to highlights. I like layering my highlights all the time. So I don't know where I'm going to layer today. But I'm going to start with my Mary Luminizer. Love this stuff. I don't know how much I say love this stuff, but I love a lot of stuff. I just love makeup so much. I go overboard with like anything. I love eyebrows. I'm going to go overboard with eyebrows. I love blush. I'm going to go overboard with blush. I love highlighter. I'm just going to overdo my highlighter. Like I have zero self-control zero self-control zia so i'm going to go back to my bronzer i'm going to take a little bit of that i'm going to slightly contour my nose because i feel like my nose is pretty wide i don't know that's just me dusting under my nose it's kind of gross like some of the bristles get in your nostrils and i was like hey so i love washing this brush <laughs> i find that when i try to be really precise with contouring my nose it ends up looking weird so when I just take a fluffy brush and I don't need that anyway. So when I just take a fluffy brush and just kind of apply it where I need it and just buff it away really quick, that is when it works best for me personally. See, it's not like really even noticeable that I contoured my nose, but it just makes me feel better, makes me feel like there's a little bit more structure there. And then I go back to my Mary Luminizer, take some on my finger, 
just right on the tip of my nose and then slightly above just like that what did i use this brush for i don't know it has something else on it but it's okay i take a little bit of mary luminizer apply it to the zebra bone whoa i take my blush brush and kind of just blend these together really well and you don't want that line you know what i mean at least i don't want that line if you want a line on your face go ahead and then i'm going to dust away baking that i did down here thank you for drag queens for coming up with that they're just the best one thing that i do that i always forget to do until the end is take a little bit of whatever bronzer i'm using or a contour shade or whatever and take it on preferably a brush smaller than this but if i take it on this brush just pinch it and apply it to the center of my cupid's bow like right down the middle i really like doing this because it makes it look a little deeper hence makes my lips look slightly lighter than adding highlighter to it because i have small lips gotta say they're tiny and now i'm going to work on my lips i don't know what color i want to use <sighs> what am i doing i am going to try out coco k coco k seems a little light for me but i'm gonna try it and see how it looks with this look so let's just give it a whirl here i opened the wrong side let's just start lining the lips all right i like the lip liner Let's see how the lipstick looks. This is Candy K. Did I see Coco K last time? It's Candy K. The color is a little lighter than what I'm used to, but I'm just gonna roll with it. Liquid lipsticks always end up looking slightly darker on me as time goes on anyway, so it's probably gonna look better in like 20 minutes. So yeah, let's just let's take this hair down now. Oh, I forgot I have all this dry shampoo in it. Ah, I gotta go brush it out. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I completely 100% forgot that I had um, dry shampoo in my hair and it was just sitting in there for like an hour. So it doesn't feel really good, but that volume though, like it's just, it's just standing. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, that's my look today. I guess I'm just gonna roll with it until I have a chance to take a shower later and guess who's washing her hair today? Me. I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me. I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you have not already. I make new videos every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I post four days out of the week. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you have not already. I would love to have you as part of my tiny little growing YouTube family. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.